dear audience, good afternoon. My PhD thesis is hormonal and non-hormonal treatments for oncological and emergency contracept contraception cases. My name is Lottie and uh, I am a, I'm, I'm a PhD student and uh, I think it's really important to have women in some uh, gynecological life situation with the best and most fav favorable solution and to achieve this I would like to deliver the most effective therapeutic solution to these patients. I have two ongoing projects, one of the uh, vaginal atrophy in women with breast cancer treatments and the other is the uh, IUDs in emergency contraception. First, I would like to talk about the investigating the effectiveness and the safety of the treatment of vulva vaginal atrophy in women with breast cancer treatment. We know that breast cancer is one of the most common type, uh, one of the most common type of cancer in the world, and there is 2.3 million new cases in every year. And uh, it's a really big problem, and we know that the therapy of, therapy of the breast cancer can cause many side effects, such as the treatment in used vulva vaginal atrophy. The symptoms of these side effects is really bad for the patients because uh, they can decrease the quality of life. These symptoms are dryness, burning, dyspronia, and bleeding after the intercourse. There are some treatments for the VVA, hormonal and non-hormonal. And uh, there is a missing link, the adequate treatment and patient management. That is why we would like to investigate the use of the treatments in these uh, patients. Our clinical question was that, what is the most effective and safest treatment for these patients? We investigate in women with breast cancer treatment. The intervention was hormonal and non-hormonal treatment, and uh, the uh, control group was uh, placebo or sham treatment, and the outcome, uh, the most outcome was the uh, vaginal health index. Uh, our clinical implication is that we would like to provide better quality of life for these patients. We did the systematic search, and the end of the selection, we had uh, 31 articles. We collected the data, and here is some, uh, our results. Uh, first, I would like to show that uh, after the vaginal laser treatment in these patients, the VA, VHE value, which is vaginal health index, improved a uh, really lot. Uh, that means that these patients, uh, uh, the values of these patients were, was more better uh, after the treatment. Uh, and we can um, say that uh, the uh, vaginal laser therapy is a really promising therapy for these patients. The other result is the FSFH, which is a questionnaire for the sexual satisfaction. And uh, we can see that uh, after the, uh, the therapy, the patients felt, uh, felt uh, themselves more better in the sexual life. The next uh, result is the pH, and uh, we can see that uh, the pH value um, v was close to the normal uh, after the treatment than before. There are some changes in dyspareunia too, because after the laser treatment, uh, in the VAS score, uh, the patient said that uh, they had uh, less uh, pain uh, in, uh, in the in, uh, intercourse after the treatment. And uh, we can see the same in the dryness too, because after the vaginal laser treatment, patients felt that uh, they are uh, felt less uh, dryness in, in the vaginal health. I th think we conducted an overall analysis that gives a comprehensive picture of these treatments. And uh, there was uh, no such a comprehensive meta-analysis on the subject, just uh, or, uh, the laser or just the uh, uh, hormonal treatment, but not an overall analysis. There is uh, some uh, limitation too, because uh, there is a little available data, and uh, the high heterogeneity of the included studies can cause uh, uh, a problem, because most of them are single center and non-randomized studies. Uh, and there is no sufficient data on the long-term treatment too. The conclusion is that uh, we can achieve a significant uh, reduction of the clinical symptoms in these patients, and uh, in the 
um, studies, we can see that uh, the topical treatments uh, uh, caused uh, less progress, like the, um, like the laser treatment. Uh, but uh, in summarize, we can say that uh, both of the uh, topical treatments and both of the uh, laser treatment can improve the vaginal health. The implication is practice, uh, for practice is that uh, the early intervention is really, really important because uh, with that we can decrease the decline in sexual function and, uh, and we should uh, apply research findings in clinical practice too. The implication for research is that we need more RCTs for the higher level of the evidence and uh, the, uh, the studies should use a uniform reporting format for the outcomes and uh, we should investigate the long-term effects on vaginal tissue too. Um, we finished the uh, manuscript and we would like to send to internal review and after that uh, to language editing. My second topic is the investigating the effectiveness and safety of IUDs in emergency contraception. We know that uh, almost half of all pregnancies are unintended in the world and uh, almost half of them ended in abortion. In, uh, there is uh, Hungarian data too. We can see that uh, it's a really big problem in Hungary too. We know that the most effective emergency contraceptive is the um, copper IUD, which means that the intrauterine device is the most effective, but the most common use is the progestin-only pill. However, uh, the IUD is a really good alternative. That is why we would like to investigate the safety and the efficacy of IUDs in emergency contraception. Our clinical question was that, what is the difference in the effectiveness and safety between IUD and oral contraceptive pills in emergency contraception? And our clinical implication that we can give a more personalized emergency contraception for the patients. We did the systematic search and after that uh, we have uh, 33 articles and uh, now we uh, did the grade uh, assessment and uh, we would like to start to write the manuscript. With these two topics, we would like to uh, provide the patients um, promising uh, solutions for their problems. Thank you for your attention. Well, thanks very much. <coughs> I'm Jolt Molnar. I'm the group leader of the miscellaneous group. I'm an intensivist and anesthesiologist. So I'm particularly interested in your first project. And can you please go back to your forest plot? Yeah, yes. So, yes. So, uh, uh, figure Over. one and figure mm -hmm. two. I cannot really see the dimension of the mean difference. Uh, so, what is uh, the normal value or, or the expected value? So, you know, it would have been nice to show us uh, what is the the acceptable score or what is mm -hmm. what means bad and what means good for the VHI score. Yeah, uh, for v VHI score is uh, under 15, uh, uh, uh -huh. it's the atrophy. So uh, we can see that uh, before the treatment, the values were under 15, and after the treatment, it's close to uh, 20, or tw the, the max, uh, max uh, value is uh, 25. So the higher the better? The higher the better, yes. Okay. yes. Yeah, okay. So now, now I can uh, at least put it in, in dimension. And your mm -hmm. next figure yes. is the, s the, same. the same problem? The same, yes. yes. <clears throat> higher is better. Mm -hmm. So, and, and because this is a strong uh, statistically <laughs> significant mean difference, but as a um, Obzengaini mm -hmm. uh, expert, do you <laughs> consider that as clinically relevant as well? Mm. Uh, yes, of course, because uh, these uh, patients, um, um, after the laser treatment... Um, what, yeah. what I mean is, it, this is substantially a, a large improvement. Yes. Not just statistically. No, yes, yes, okay. yes. Because if you go to your next figure, mm -hmm. as an anesthesiologist, I know what this means. Mm -hmm. And the maximum is 10. Mm -hmm. And I was absolutely shocked when I looked at that and the next figure. Mm -hmm. Because now this is, this means that a, a mean difference of minus five, if the maximum is 10, now in 
anesthesia practice and surgical practice, if mm -hmm. the VAS score is somewhere between 8 and 10, we give morphine infusion to the patients or mm -hmm. an epidural catheter. Obviously, for sexual intercourse, the epidural is not the best thing to do. <laughs> but, yeah. but, but what I mean is these, these women are really in hell. Yeah. This means to me. And, uh, and uh, I mean, this kind of an improvement uh, as an anesthesiologist, I would be very happy to achieve with any kind of pain, um, pain relieving method. Mm -hmm. And um, <clears throat> another question is that, um, so you didn't have a chance to compare the hormonal and non-hormonal treatment, because now you are, we are looking at uh, laser treatment yes. and uh, hormonal, so these yeah, because there apples are and pears. Mm -hmm. and there are too many interventions in uh, hormonal and non-hormonal treatments, and we could not uh, uh, compare them. We would like to, but we could not do it, because uh, there are uh, too many um, medication for that. So, for example, estriol uh, mm -hmm. or testosterone, but uh, there is uh, not so many articles for that. So, in the laser th uh, therapy, we could co uh, compare because they did uh, more uh, uh, studies in that uh, topic, but uh, with the top uh, topical treatments, they did not. So, there are two no. a little available data for that, okay. and just we did a review for that. And I, I do apologize, Mr. Chairman, but I have one final comment. If you go mm -hmm. to your conclusion slide, because you make a comment on early intervention, but you did not investigate that. So I would not use this as a reviewer when I read your article. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> I would criticize that you cannot make any comment on suggesting uh, early intervention because you did not test that. This can be your personal opinion. Mm -hmm but you have no data to support this. Thank okay? you. Yes, yes, you're right. Thank you. Okay, thank you. Congratulations. I just uh, would like to ask uh, concerning like the measurement of the outcomes. When were these outcomes measured? After two weeks, after one month? Uh, after the treatment. After yes. the treatment, yes. directly after the treatment? Um, uh, after um, the, that it was a three months follow up. And uh, in the three months, they had uh, more uh, laser therapy. And after these uh, three months, they measured these values. Mm -hmm. And concerning laser therapy, like um, how many of them? Like one is Every uh, four weeks. So uh, there was three in the three months. Thank you. Welcome.